My name is Rhapsody, welcome back to Slay the Spire. Let's go with the silent again. We'll actually be able to choose an upgrade to work with. Okay, transform a card, receive a random com common relic, or lose all gold and receive a rare relic. I'm going to go with that. Sundial, every three times you shuffle your deck, gain two energy. Eh, okay. It's pretty good. Especially if we have a deck that mills through itself really quickly. I don't want to go to a shop. The only path that doesn't go to a shop is this one. Because if I go to a shop, what am I going to do? Like... <laughs> give them the zero money that I have? Okay, beautiful. Neutralize to remove the damage down to nine. Defend against eight of it, and then just attack as much as I can. It's funny, I could actually take this enemy super slow, so I didn't need to lose that three damage there. Easy. Uh, we shouldn't be weak in this turn. Cool. Three single strikes will do it. Yeah. And since I didn't have that many strikes in my previous hand, I was pretty certain to have them. Backstab. Backstab's just a really, really powerful card, especially in the early game. Heh. <laughs> I'm going to backstab you right now. I'm going to double block, but I'm going to regret this. So this character, the thief, the looter rather, really commonly kills the silent. Not kills the silent, takes all of the silent's money and runs away. So this turn it should do 12 damage. Nope, it's going to try and defend. Okay, it's trying to run. And I didn't get enough damage there. If I don't draw three strikes next turn... I'm pretty likely to, but if I don't draw three strikes, this is just going to run away with none of my money because I don't have any money. Okay, fair. Exact damage there. Okay. Our maneuver could actually be handy. Just because my deck archetype looks like I'm building up to having a really, really big deck. Uh. Oh. An odd creature with a hunched back, sprouting several tentacles, is scrounging through a pile of trash and debris in front of you as you approach. He shuffles towards you in a non threatening manner. Loth hungry. Feed Loth. Uh. I'm gonna give you the Ring of the Snake. We get triple the chance of receiving rare cards as monster rewards. Holding the relic out towards him, Nolas snatches it out of your hand with his tentacles, dislocates his jaw, and slurps your offer down in one quick gulp. He gives you a large, toothy grin as more tentacles appear from behind his cloak, these ones brandishing an impossibly neat-looking box. He pushes it towards you until you take it. I don't really like what just happened there, but okay. I guess I am going to be building a deck that's quite big, so really doesn't matter if I don't draw all of it on the first turn, but still. Hey, I had a bunch of mana that turn. Couldn't do anything with it. Should have five mana this turn. Mm -hmm. There we go. Defend against everything. Block everything. Did take four damage there. Could have prevented that four damage with a weak potion, though. All right. Goodbye, Jawworm. Hello. Yeah. Uh, draw a card for free. If the guard is a skill, gain a block or delay damage and next turn gain an energy. I'll go with that. I've got some energy manipulation already in my deck. Free Relic. When you play a power, reduce a random card in your cost... Uh, card in your deck to cost zero. That's really good. I'm probably going to use both my weak potion and my energy potion against this character. Uh, make you weak this turn. Because it's really important to complete this fight as fast as possible. It just gets way worse as time goes on. Okay. 
Okay, that'll defend me against all the damage as well as allow me to get the energization for the next turn. Unfortunately, I got a lot of block cards that I can't actually do anything with, and two of them in my pile are still strike cards. That sucks. That was a bad draw for me. Ugh, yikes. Gosh, I need a lot more damage right now. Come on. I'll put out Maneuver in, although I'm going to draw Neutralize next turn, so I'm not actually going to be able to use all my 5 mana. I need some draw cards so that I can actually make good use of what I'm getting here. Yeah, the second Siphon Soul is pretty much going to make certain that I can't win this fight now. Oh yeah, and I just killed myself. I Look, I wasn't going to survive because it was going to attack this turn and then do the same attack next turn, and there's no way that I could have dealt 19 damage next turn. <laughs> Sucks. We'll restart with the same character. Unfortunately, this does mean that we aren't going to start with any bonus. It's just going to be, hello again, reach the city. So I am going to try and go to as many question mark places as possible. Freak. I hate the looter. Actually gonna let myself take five damage here just so I can try and prevent it from stealing all of my money. Oh really? Those hands sucked. Now I can't attack it this turn. I just I had to waste a really good attack. I actually can't kill it. This I went all out aggressive at the very start. Obviously, okay, I, I blocked once. But I, I literally cannot kill it now. I needed two more attacks against it. And there is no physical way that I could have done that. That, to me, is really, really imbalanced. And mm, makes me feel a little uneasy. So I'm actually just going to restart. Because I had no bonus on that character yet. I have to imagine that's going to be fixed at some point. Again, this is in early access. Um... Maybe I'm just getting really unlucky in those fights, but I doubt it. I want to do another discard deck, but I kind of want to do a poison deck. I also want to get a shiv deck to actually work. There's so many different things that I can do with this character. I don't need to take any damage against the slaver. It's not a race. Cool, cool. It doesn't need to become a race, at least. Okay. Seven damage. We'll get Survivor in this hand. Beautiful. Unfortunately, I'm going to need three strikes to kill next turn because I'm weakened. That's unlikely to happen. Got pretty close, though. Okay, and stab him. Easy done. Infant Blades. Let's go for the Shiv build. I'll take the Golden Idol. That's going to be 25% more gold against every single enemy. That is pretty good. I'm going to lose three max HP. No, I'm going to become a Cursed Injury. You come across shivering what? Yeah, just remove all curses from your deck. Fine. <laughs> Those two spaces effectively gave me one relic. It's lovely. I'll take it. This fight is actually a DPS race, but I would have blocked twice or used the survivor if I had it. Yeah. Unfortunately, this hand is a lot of defense that I can't really... <laughs> Shiv. Don't want to double block here. Yeah. 
I can probably get out of this without having to use the fire potion, and I should do it if I can. I hate that only on the turns that he's not attacking, I keep getting all of my defense cards. Twenty-three HP and seventeen damage. All right, I might actually have to. Yeah, I'm about to take seven damage if I don't use the fire potion here. Even if I double blocked, I was taking seven damage there. I'm going to take a thousand cuts. Whenever you play a card, deal one damage to all enemies. The upgrade to that is whenever you play a card, deal two damage to all enemies. It still costs two mana though. Um, but it becomes really good in a shiv build because in a shiv build, of course, you're going to be playing a lot of cards. Since all of the shivs are free. Okay, I do take one damage here. Kind of unfortunate, but what can you do? Oof. I might actually kill this turn. Yep. Only just, though. Holy hell, that was a good fight. Backstab. Backstab's so good. Even if it doesn't fit into your build, it is just so good. This fight is going to suck, so I'm going to immediately throw the poison on. Neutralize, backstab, double stab. That's actually the perfect opening hand for me, because now it gives me all of these defenses thrown out. So I have a lot of aggress uh, aggression in the rest of my hand. Thousand cuts plus an eight shiv would be really good now. I got one of them. Again, at this point, this is just a DPS race. I can't afford to not attack. This enemy is ridiculous when it siphons your soul. Of course, when it's not attacking, I finally get all of my defenses. That's unfortunate for me. Right. Down to 11. Down to 9. Beautiful. In fact, down to 8 because it's going to bleed at the end of the turn as well. Okay. Woo! Mum fight hand. Whenever you play a power, reduce a card. I have two powers already in my deck. That's so good for me then. I'm going to take Caltrops. It's just another power for me to play. I don't want to go to the shop. But I'm not going to. I have to rest. I need the HP. It was a bad fight. We've got a block card, which is going to be really handy. That's an easy backstab. Bye forever. Caltrops and defend. And strike for free. Caltrops was going to make another one of my cards in my hand free, so it was effectively free itself. Beautiful. Solid bellow, but that's only 20. I can kill you this turn, depending. This isn't the build that'll do it, though. Thanks to the powers lowering the cost of other things in my hands, though, I am able to completely defend myself. That's excellent. Oh, man. Footwork, gain two decks. I don't actually block that often, though. I'll still take it. Because it's free, right? If I have Mummified Hand, that's effectively free.
Peace pipe, remove decks, at, uh, remove cards from your deck at campfires. There's nothing I actually want to remove right now. I do want to upgrade Thousand Cuts, actually. It's kind of core to my build right now. Accuracy. 100% the card I'm taking. That was so easy. Um, gain two block and draw one card for zero mana is really good as well. Let's go to another rest station. Smith. Upgrade accuracy. Again, it's a power, so it's free effectively for me. I have a 12 block, so I think I can actually fight these. Ooh, this enemy in particular is going to be a bit rough. I haven't got my shiv or my thousand cuts going on yet. And those are going to be kind of the tide turners. Okay. I'm going to pick up 12 armor there because... Otherwise, we were in absolute dire life and death. Thankfully, I think I've still got just a normal hand coming up. Beautiful. Okay. Yep, this, this was good. We had to use a block, but other than that, as long as I don't just draw all wounds next turn, I'm I'm pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. And then it attacks me and dies. That was a really good boss. Whenever you discard a card during your turn, gain three block. We don't discard cards. That's unfortunate. Big Slash is kind of good. But not really. None of those are consistent enough with our theme to stay in our deck. Or a Chalcum, sure. I kind of want to upgrade another card, but I know I should rest. But I am going to upgrade another card instead. Let's get Infinite Blades going on. Make sure it's innate. We could survive this. It is theoretically possible. Draw reduction really sucks, though. Uh, I should have played that after... Eh, never mind, it doesn't matter. But I still should have played the lower cost power first, just in case. I need more cards that give me shivs. I need that as soon as possible. Well, that was beautiful. Hopefully only one of them decides to attack. Okay. Only one of them decides to attack. And I can just defend against all of the damage as well. Andy. <clears throat> Come on. And... Much more shivs. You're already interrupted, so I want to make sure that you... Yeah, don't bring a ridiculous amount of damage back into the field by splitting. And now this one's ready to split, so even if it's about to attack, it's not going to attack. It's threatening to. But instead, it's going to split. 
Easy done. Achievement unlocked. Perfect. Defeat a boss without taking any damage. Yeah. Adrenaline. That's so good for us. Whenever an enemy dies, it transfers any poison it has to a random enemy. Gain three curses and three relics. Uh, choose from four. It's definitely going to be choose from four for us. Because choosing from four rather than from three is going to allow us to more often pick cards that align with our theming for the deck so far. I actually do want to go to this shop and both of these question mark spaces, so I'm going to go up this path. The shop is particularly helpful because it's a really, really reliable way. Hang on. Oh, I should have finessed first, just in case I... Yeah, got something like that. I think I should defend there. No reason to start losing HP. Okay. Shiv, and strike. Just play out the rest of the hand. Oh, tough bandages, of course, is giving me a little bit extra block. Right, right, right. There's accuracy, then caltrops, then footwork. Because they're all powers, they just keep reducing the cost of all the cards in my hand. It's insane. It's so powerful. Oh, man. The enemy was stunned instead of doing its big attack that it was going to try and do. And it's dead. This is really good. I don't know if I can take any of those. Like, acrobatics is closest to what I can take, but I don't, I don't need it. I could take deflect, actually. Deflect's free. Yeah, I should take deflect. Blade Dance. Blade Dance. Adds two shifts to your hand. When you upgrade it, adds three. I'm going to remove a strike. I don't want to take a slice. It's a free card to play, and I get a lot of bonuses when I play cards. Sure, let's find some potions. We've got weak and strength and regen. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay. Infinite blades. Play a backstab. If I play the Survivor... No, if I play Survivor, I get 11 armor versus Aura Chalcom giving me 5. I forgot, I have tough bandages, so I would have gotten 11 armor. It was probably a good idea to play the Survivor there. Okay. Accuracy. Caltrops. Adrenaline. Footwork. Defend. Just play every goddamn card. Okay. Thousand cuts, and then everything's free. That worked out pretty well. I'm going to need to find a long fight where I can use this regen potion, though. I kind of want dodge and roll. I'm going to take it. Should I go for the boss? If I go for that boss, I'm guaranteed to fight two bosses in a row, though. It's a bad idea. 
Let's upgrade Blade Dance to give us three shivs. This fight actually does go for a while, but I have a boss fight up next, so... I really wanted one of those to reduce the cost of Thousand Cuts, unfortunately. I am so far now from getting on uh, 1,000 cuts back in my deck. It's really unfortunate. There we go. Depend for a ridiculous amount. Use accuracy. Display dance. Caltrops. Easy, ridiculous amount of damage. I love it. Did take four. Not that great. Okay. As long as we weaken you, we'll actually protect ourselves entirely with the Aura Chalcum next turn. Have I been here? Yeah, I have been here for five turns. So regen potion would have given me the full payout. There we go. Easy kill. Storm of Steel. That's a shift to your hand for every card it discards. Okay. Start with Adrenaline. And finesse. Infinite Blade. See what we can reduce the cost of. Slice. Backstab. Uh, I can do just a little more damage this turn with that. Strength wore off. The hell was that? Remove some strength from me. Caltrops, Footwork, Laid Dance. Now each of these is going to make me discard something else, so I'll use the highest damage things first. Thankfully, all of these discards are actually triggering tough bandages, so I am getting some extra block out of it. God, these effects are really annoying. Damn, Book of Stabbing. Thank you. Okay. I actually managed to protect myself against most of the damage the Book of Stabbing was about to put out with that attack, so it was reasonable. And now I'm no longer dazed, I don't think. No, I'm still Shriek from Beyond, of course. Beautiful Thousand Cuts was actually the one that was made cheaper with that. Damn it! I should have used the Shiv first. Because the ship was doing more damage at that point because of the accuracy. Okay. Eh. Reasonable block. Opponent's going to take a bit of damage on the thorns here. Of course, it is a boss, so it's reasonable that I'm going to take a fair bit of damage against it, but still. Still sucks. I should have just played out my skills there so that I didn't have anything to discard. That said, it didn't really matter. Ooh, 20 armor off the back of that. That's unfortunate for me. Okay, and I should have you on the ropes now. Easy. Got him. 
Lands him, gain an extra power on the first turn of every combat. That's really good with a Ring of the Snake because you draw two extra cards, so you need extra power to play them all. Finisher is really good with uh, Shivs because you play a lot of Shivs. There are each attacks, and then you use a Finisher. Bag of Preparation on the start of each, uh, each combat, draw two additional cards, so it's the same as the Ring of the Snake. I'm going to have nine cards in my hand at the start of every combat. Infinite Blades, and then Footwork, and then Thousand Cuts. Unfortunately, now I can't play Backstab, but it was necessary that I play all of those cards. I could have popped an Energy in order to attack, but I actually don't think I'm going to need to attack here. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Use some Adrenaline. Storm of Steel is a bunch of attacks, but they're not helpful. Okay. That'll defend me against almost all of that damage. Unfortunately, I don't return any because I didn't have Caltrops up yet. There's accuracy just in time to use the Blade Dance. Yeah, see, I'm since I'm doing a bunch of small attacks, this Malleable is actually really harming me. Thankfully, it resets at the start of every turn. Drops there. Shiv. Strike. Um, dodge and roll. And then finisher. Kill. Beautiful. Accuracy. Had to be. I need to upgrade that as soon as possible as well. Remove a card from my deck for 75. Sure. We will remove... Probably at this point a defend... Smith to upgrade accuracy. Now each of them, when I have both of those up, is going to deal 10 extra damage, and that's ridiculous. Okay. Good blades. Accuracy. Blade dance. One, two... Three. The nest, draw another card. We'll stab you, and then stab you, and then we'll neutralize the survivor to discard that, and then finish her for 36 damage. <laughs> this is beautiful. I'm going to try and weaken them to prevent the amount of damage that we're about to take. Whew. Yikes. Unfortunately, since, since we don't have 1,000 cuts up, we're not actually getting as much damage as we really could. We don't even have the second accuracy up, to be honest. Hey, there it is. Okay, next turn we just draw a shiv and it immediately kills the enemy. Just get it for free. Here we go. I don't know. It's 10 damage when it's nerfed by weakened. Finisher is still really good. That's an upgraded finisher as well. We might be able to kill someone in the first turn here. In fact, we probably can. Really wanted Storm of Steel to be the one that changed that. 
All right. Um. Cool. And we're defended against all of the damage. I just don't want the Mystic to heal them. This Mummified Hand is doing such amazing work. It's actually insane. I love this so much. <laughs> ah! Another accuracy for me, sure. And just casual 24 at the very end. Another Caltrops, because they're free, basically. May as well play them in my deck. There's no reason not to. I kind of want to rest here. I'm wary that I might just get dunked on. No, I'm going all the way. <sighs> Ooh, this guy is going to be annoying. Please, one of these reduce the cost of a thousand cuts. Oh, uh, it didn't do it. Okay. At least I've got thousand cuts active, as well as infinite blades and one of the accuracies. That's pretty good. Okay. Caltrops. Caltrops. They're going to start stealing cards from my deck that I'm actually going to want back. That's just to prevent incoming damage. No, come on! It, what? That's like the most... One of the most important cards left in my deck. Give me a back. Thank you. Now let's get back on our bullshit. Ridiculous. That was so insane. We're actually probably going to win here, despite not resting before the boss either. Yeah, it's all but certain at this point. The enemy's dead, they just don't know it yet. They haven't laid down. Cue up all of the cards. <laughs> okay. Gonna buff itself and block. Not that bad. I can get through that amount of HP in a single turn. I need some more draw cards in my deck though. Yeah. That was really close. One HP difference. I want another thousand cuts. It's so, so important to me. <laughs> uh, you can no longer use potions, but you gain an extra energy at the start of each turn. You no longer discard your hand, draw an extra card, uh, one fewer cards every turn. I'm going to go with the orrery because I get four different choices every single time. Play dance. Probably slice, but I don't know. Definitely Cloak and Dagger. 
Probably backflip, but I don't know. Definitely outmaneuver. Backflip. And then... Slice. I can't believe that worked. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, more question marks. Let's go up this side. Draw a whole deck in turn one. Don't mind if I do. Backflip. Some more cards in hand. Okay, cool. Use all of our zero damage attacks. Zero mana attacks, sorry. So then we can finish after them. I'm actually going to use one of the potions so that I can use my other two attacks as well. Oh, that was so close, though. I love it. None of those going my deck have to skip them. Sure. I can fight these, especially because I do most of my damage AoE. It's not actually going to matter to me. Okay. Infinite blades. Accuracy. Footwork. We only have one card in our hand that actually costs mana. Okay. That worked out pretty well. Got a full hand of wounds, but if I can't kill the Spiker in the next turn, it's already a deeper problem. Awesome. Trying to make sure I don't take any damage to the actual thorns over time. Seven damage every single time. Yikes. Okay, a thousand cuts is now active, which means I'm done here. Pretty much. Next turn, it's dead. Huh. In fact, I can just play the five cards in my hand to make sure that's the case. Yep, beautiful. Didn't take any damage there. Credit is really good. It was good in my last deck. I don't think it'll be good in this deck. Anything with a high cost really isn't good in this deck. Play a card, uh, place a card from your hand on top of your draw pile. It costs zero until it is played. None of those really do anything for my deck. Not right now. Slowly make your way through the... Okay, cool. We're going to get madness. Fine. Madness just means that I'm going to be able to go off even harder. Kind of ridiculous? Don't mind if I do. Cool. Caltrops. Two blade dancers in our hand. Okay. Uh, flies up the back. And with that. Get on that bullshit. Yeah, okay. Went reasonably well, I think. I do need to get 1,000 cuts out soon, though. 
And there we go. Didn't lower the cost of Thousand Cuts, unfortunately. Survivor. Right, I'm actually going to draw three cards here. Because I don't like the amount of damage that I'm actually going to take here. Okay, so now we're down to taking zero damage. That's a lot better. Plus, it leaves me with a potion slot, so I can actually pick up a potion if I find one, rather than just discarding a potion. Way better for me. Okay. Strike there. Easy. I need to upgrade the second thousand cuts as well. It's uh, one of the next things I need to do. Okay. I really don't want to use finisher here. I super don't want to do that. Like, if I hit it, yeah. I, I think I just have to accept that I'm going to lose three health. Because if I attacked it for six times for every attack that I'd done, I'm going to take way more because of the spikes. Okay, and now I'm fine. Beautiful. Smiling Mask, Merchant Card Removal Service, now only costs 50 every single time. And Cloak and Dagger, that's going to give me two shivers every single time as well. And it's a way for me to get block while doing this build. That's really important for me to think about, because that's what's taken two of my previous builds down. Not having any way to actually pick up block while I'm doing the build. Cool. Uh, guess I'm going to go for the one with the lower health. Easily block all of the damage they were about to do. I can't wait to take this up against a, an elite or a boss. See how it does. Because right now, clearly, it's ridiculous. That said, turns like this where you don't draw any uh, any block. You're a tad rough. I'm going to have to rest in the camp very soon, unfortunately. Which I super don't want to. But it's the right thing to do. I wanted to get out that damage so that I could prevent it from taking another turn after this, but it's possible I was going to prevent that anyway. In fact, yeah, it looks like I would have. All right, fair enough. So I wasted that potion, basically. Infinite Blades. Another Infinite Blades is just too fucking... Oh! I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna just take the HP this time. Be safe. Infinite Blades! Uh, accuracy. Infinite Blades. Adrenaline. Blade Dance. Guess I'll kill you first. There's a slice as well. I'm going to use Storm of Steel to get all of the wounds out of my hand. 
at the end. Storm of Steel, turn them all into shivs. Cool. Alright, uh, I think that turned out pretty well. I think that turned out pretty well. Holy shit. We are too powerful. This club can't even handle me right now, QQ. You blame your team as you lag out. All right. Sure, just defend myself right now. I do like the little draw I have in my hand with the, the backflips, especially. Actually kind of helpful. A lot more helpful than I thought it was going to be. I should have just been patient. I didn't need to attack it that turn. Oh, that's my bad. Caltrops. Thousand Cots. Broken Dagger. Blade Dance. If I stab it at any... I, I could have stabbed it once. Which would have killed it. Damn it! There we go. I took way too much damage in that fight as well. Whenever you play a card, gain a block. For this deck, that's really good. Also, it's another power. And it's to make it innate just means in my opening hand, I'm going to have ridiculous power. Okay. Get another relic. Whetstone just upgraded both of my slices. Holy shit. Madness actually can't even do anything this turn. That's how ridiculous our opener has been. Let's throw that in. Backflip. I really want to Caltrops then Thousand Cuts, but I can't guarantee I'll be able to do both. And Thousand Cuts is more important. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, enemy's gonna buff itself next turn. That's gonna suck. Damage. Nice storm of steel and hit it for one more. Okay. 48 damage total that turn. Pretty good. It's just buffed its strength. It's going to hit me for 12. Sorry, 16. If I could actually count, it would be 16. Really hate that I'm weakened right now. I would be doing so much more. Just the amount of cards that I'm going to play this turn is going to defend me entirely. Uh, okay, I will take one damage. Come on, that's good enough, right? Give me a draw card. Oh, well. Should be able to kill this turn, in fact, right? With the extra accuracy, though. That's a no. That's a strong, stark no on that one, apparently. Fair enough. Shiv, shiv. Finish real kill, though. Mm, another backflip or another Caltrops? Caltrops is actually just... It's free. It's free. <laughs> Oh my god. 
This boss is going to have the worst time. I am possibly the worst build that this boss could have to fight. I am so sorry for you. I'm actually going to play Madness just for an extra armor. One, two, three. Unfortunately, I don't have any Caltrops, which would be really helpful right now. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Cool. So that's uh, a very close one so far, as you can tell. Our drops. Hit out that cloak and dagger. Uh, do I have any draw cards left in my deck? No, but I have both of my Madnesses, so I'll hit Energize. Both of my Madnesses, both of my Thousand Cuts, that is. Cow Trops, Thousand Cuts, Slice, Shiv, Shiv. Yeah, this should... Ooh. It's a close one. It's a lot closer than I thought that had any right of being. Still managed to survive. Uh, I need to rest as soon as possible, though. Bronze scales whenever you take damage, deal three damage, uh, two damage back. That's ridiculous. Not a Caltrop, sure. Rest. Gain as much HP as I can. I'm going to go both of the question marks, then another rest. Toolbox. My start hand is now full. Oh, he just gave me a free madness, of all things. Okay. Now my whole hand is free. Kind of wanted to block more damage than that. Unfortunate there. Shiv, 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 shiv. Deflect. Yeah, we are not blocking anywhere near as much damage as I need to be blocking to deal with these. I needed a finisher on one of those turns as well. protect myself against attacks this turn at least again i'm just gonna have to rest as soon as possible these kind of very very beefy boys All these shivs 14 means uh five plus yeah you're not dead 50 plus 20. No, it's dead. Oh, even without the thousand cuts, it's dead. Right. No, none of that. None of that goes in this deck. All right. Uh, There's going to have to be another rest. This is unfortunate because we don't have any other way to get. No, these. Okay. We, we're probably losing here because they do. They'll. These deal enough damage that I, I don't know if I can stop them.
crumbs. Oh god, I should have drank the strength. That's really dumb. I probably missed out on like 10, 15 damage there. Okay. There I go. I'm going to still defend almost my entire hit points by doing the extra damage there. I take one hit. They're still just buffing themselves constantly. There are more bosses than this in this stage. It's just we've only seen these. Okay. Some cuts. We played 1,000 cuts at the end because it was too expensive to play at the start. We needed it to be... Uh, we needed its cost to come down effectively. Mm-hmm. 16 times 2 is not okay. I can only block one of those and not even entirely. Yeah. If, if I can't kill Decker this turn, I'm dead. I can't. Needed more life. Decker was almost dead. As soon as we had Decker dead, we were probably going to be able to deal with Donor. Oh, that was a really close one. I had an incredible amount of fun with that build. It's the shivs, though. Oh, and all of the powers, it just... This game is really, really, really good. I love it a lot. There is a link in the description down below, by the way, where you can pick it up for yourself on the Steam Store. It is, again, worth noting, this is currently in early access, so this is not representative of the final product. For the moment, though, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time. <laughs>